What's up, gamers, and welcome to a man of the adventure to the time, the day, and the time. It's finally here. I know I'm so late to this. I have been busy all day with school, you know. I got home from school like it's almost three hours, two hours ago. Yeah. But I'm finally ready. I got the game. I did do some school stuff, you know. Anyway, let's just not waste any more time. Let's get to the end. Boy. Oh, the masked figure from the masked figure ending. You're Riley, aren't you? Yeah. Kate and I were really close. She That's talked a... about you so much. She. She was really proud of you. Wait, th there's a woman? I guess you've seen some of what she was working on. I. Come on. We should get out of here. Ever since I mean, I know a place you can rest a while and. And then let's talk. I thought I thought that was a guy who would be like, you know, masked figure. And, I don't know. Whatever. Friend of our own. Okay. okay. Hey. Oh. Hope you got a little sleep. You know, I was thinking we should head over to the library. You can tell me what happened on the way. Like, you know. God, that's. Terrifying. I really hope we find some answers in Kate's office. Come on, let's move. Okay, let's see if your aunt's key ring delivers. Listen, there's something out there. It's drawn to the tapes, and it's very, very dangerous. Please be careful. I know this is going to sound super paranoid, but after everything that's happened, we need to be careful. We can connect on an encrypted channel with these. You go see what you can find in Kate's office. I'll keep watch outside. I'll call you on the two-way if anything comes up. It's this thing. Uh, I'm wondering where we are. Let's just scan book, scanner to look at this. Check out history. Hey, Margaret, found an old tape in the book of Trent Center. I wonder if myself, but I was hoping you could take a look at it. You can't stop to the pen. Okay. Greg the Grape 2. KPO's mascot, Wooly. Another one, do you want to keep you over here? <sighs> DS zero. 
Oh wait, is it something to do like with you know he's first? So like thing was ever not checked out. Wait, didn't we already, we already did this puzzle. What the puzzle was up here, pick. Alright, guys, I got it. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. <coughs> Ooh, what 
to go far, far away? Well, we can! At least in our imaginations we can. With my magic train! If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? Hmm. Didn't. I wish I could still visit her. Boy. I'd love to daydream about all the places I could have gone. Think about all the places we can go. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. But wow, it's so dark in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? Hmm. Oh. That's much better. Now let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? That would be a fun place to see. But the Eiffel Tower isn't there, silly. Jeez, can't you figure this out? The Eiffel Tower is in Paris. Jeez. We'll go to Paris first on the magic train! <sighs> it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? I can pull out the plug, or I can smash it! Smash it, smash it! Ah, uh, you're no fun. Wait, no! I wanted to smash it. Not we smash it anyway. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. I have five coins. That's more than enough for our first stop. We just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? I want to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. Where can I find that? Wow, planning this trip with you is going to take forever, isn't it? Looks like someone needs to brush up on their cultural knowledge. The owner of the Isle of Dead Dolls hangs dolls to keep demons away. Do you think that really works? It's near Mexico City, okay? Our next stop is Mexico City! A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins! Anyway, that ticket cost three coins, so let's take those away from what we have. One, two, three! Oh no, that's all our coins! And I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? I can sell one of these for some coins! Which one do you think will get us the most coins? You really think I can get coins for that old thing? Yeah. 
You have really weird taste in toys. Okay, so which one can I sell? You can sell the stuffing. Let's sell funny Mr. Rooster! Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, and it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. <laughs> Wow, I got three coins for Mr. Rooster. Of course, Rooster. she just, roos, she okay, just threw that up. Okay, let's see how much like our next destination people. costs. Those I like love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? Come on, you know this. Wow, you really don't know anything, do you? Huh? Jack the Ripper killed at least five people in London in 1888. Busy guy. <laughs> of course. We're going to London! A ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket. Now I have four. That's enough for our last stop. No, no, no. Go away. Get this weirdo out of here. Wow. Who the heck was that guy? He was going to take my coins. Good. All four are still there. Let's count how many we need to pay for the ticket to London. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey, it's time to catch my train. This is fun, I guess, but I wish I really could go see the world. Here's the hand gonna... Who's this?
god, this is confusing. So, because here.
I guess we still need to get into here. So it goes through there, goes through this town, and then here, goes through this. Guys, I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, so basically, this is actually just for a secret tape that we're hopefully I can get later in the game. Um, that's what the question mark is for. I got the check that it's supposed to go in the order that we learned in the tape. I had to get help. <laughs> Check. We're never going to find my backpack. Okay, so where is my backpack? You found it! I'm starving. I'm going to get dressed and I'll meet you in the kitchen for breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Whoa, what is your... Oh. It's a thing to eat for breakfast. Hmm. I don't like that for breakfast. 
But you do you, I guess. I usually have to make breakfast by myself. I'm pretty good at it. But today, you can help me. First, let's pick a cup for my juice. Which one should I use? I love lavender. Now, do you want to help me make bacon or toast? Yum! Bacon's <coughs> my favorite! Hmm... Can you find me something to cook the bacon on? What's taking you so long? Uh. How is it this hard to find a frying pan? Taking you so long. How the heck am I supposed to cook bacon on that? Go find me something I can use. What's taking you so long? What can I use to cook the bacon? The refrigerator, the sink, or the stove? Nope, that won't work. Maybe I should have done this myself after all. So what are we using to cook this bacon? Great, let's make some bacon.
Just checking in. Everything's still pretty quiet out here, but we shouldn't stay too long. Try to find those tapes, okay? I'm starving. I don't like that. so long thanks now what can I use to cut the bacon nope that won't work great let's make So we got this part right. Um, I think there's two tapes that we gotta end up getting here. Look at it, but I actually gotta. <laughs> I love red. Okay, let's make some toast. What do we do? I don't think we want to do that first. Maybe I should have done this myself after all. So, what do we do first? Great! Let's toast the bread! I love toast! It's so warm and... You again! Get him out of here! How does he keep getting in here? He almost burned my toast! Time to make the rest of my meal. A day of adventuring calls for a big breakfast. It's over. Hmm. I don't know what to eat for. Alright. That's the thing. Okay. Gotta have orange out. Okay. It all looks so good. Hi, I'm Amanda. Isn't it nice to be a boy? And I'm Wooly. Hi, I am... No, I don't want you here. Don't you get that? But Amanda, 
Kiss I'm your it. best friend. Rage My Kiss best friend? All you can do is get up. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today we are working on a very special project. It's a project that will take a lot of patience. Patience is a very good quality to have. What is going on? What are these? Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. Today, we are building a birdhouse so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Well, this project is going to take a long time. Have a little patience, Willie. Well, I still think we could use a flashlight or something. I'm gonna bump into something. You can go back inside if you want. You don't have to be out here with me. What's something you have built that took a lot of patience? Why would you waste your time doing that? Because I, I like to play games. I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? Let's get started. The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. What tool should we use for that? How would we cut wood with that? I guess it's a good thing we're learning about patience today. What can we use to cut the wood? Right! We'll use the saw to cut the wood. Um, Amanda, shouldn't we have some kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. You have to have a lot of patience and make sure you measure everything before you... Wow, that was hard work. Okay, now we have to put the pieces together with nails. What tool should we use for that? I guess you could use that, but there's a better tool. Look, I'm doing my best to have patience with you. What can we use to put the pieces together? That's right! We'll use the nail gun to attach the piece. Shut up. Says. Pew, pew, pew. This project is taking a long time, and we have to do everything very carefully. What does it help to have? Patience! Come on, you've got this! That's right, patience! That's what I just said. Now it's time for some color. Let's paint the birdhouse. I love red. Okay, now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Good job! This is going to be so pretty! What the? Okay, this patient thing is going too far! Get him to go away! I'm getting really sick. 
sick of that guy. Come on, let's paint this birdhouse. We just need to be patient while we wait for some birds to show up and use the house. Look! They're so pretty and their chirps are so quiet, so peaceful. Another activity that takes a lot of patience is hunting. Look at Miss Cat hunting the birds. She is being very patient. She's getting really close to the pretty birds, Amanda. Should we warn them? What do you think? Should we warn the birds or let Miss Cat keep going? Miss Cat and her family have to eat after all. Uh. Wow. Huh. wow, Willie, great idea to warn the birds. <laughs> I didn't mean... And now nobody's using the birdhouse. We're going to have to sit here all day waiting for them to come back. That's going to take a lot of... Don't say it. Patience! <laughs> And I'm Wolf. Hmm. I like those too. Let's get started. The first thing we have to do. Right. We'll use. Now, what tool do we use to paint the birdhouse? I think that would get pretty messy. Okay, I get it. The theme is patient. Very funny. Now, which tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Good job! This is going to be so pretty. Okay, this patient thing 
is going too far! Get him to go away! Amanda, how about a little patience? <laughs> Let's get cleaned up. Wait for some birds to show up and you. Or something. The birds. Studios, to to we'll be spinning the national go. anthem non-stop till the clock strikes 12. Where am I? on a very special project. It's a project that will take a lot of... I like those too! How would we cut wood with that? I guess it's a good... What can we use to cut the wood? Right! We'll use the saw. I guess you... Look, I'm doing What can we use to put the piece? That's right! This is your local radio prophet. I love red. Okay, now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? I think that would get pretty messy. Okay, I get it. The theme is patience. It doesn't mean you have to keep trying. What tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Good job! This is going to be so pretty! <laughs> what the? Okay, this patient thing is going too far! Get him to go away! <laughs> She stalks them slowly. She's showing a lot of patience. What a good mama cat! I think I'm gonna be sick. I caught a sigil on the swing set in the background of the Let's Play Pirates episode. If I'd have blinked, I'd have missed it. But here's the thing, there wasn't a single reference until the acquisition. This is the complete log of all the references I can make out, and most of them are subtle, but they're there, and lots of them. 
and usually paired with a message encouraging kids to uh, ignore their parents or, or do something harmful. Uh, again, it's subtle. It's not something that's overtly dangerous, not in the context, and it's always under the guise of a new adventure. And you know this kid was also watching the show at the time of his disappearance. Mm, totally engrossed, his parents said, and then just gone. No police evidence? Not even footprints trailing on? No, nothing. Like, he just vanished. That was over eight months ago. And now this other kid, Lauren, same story. So what's next? That's what we need to figure out. I mean, obviously, we can't say anything. It's a kid show, for Christ's sake. It's not insane. But it's not. These are, these are not good lessons. Every episode has some very harmful instructions and there's a thread of content that runs across all of it. References to Belial, to Mara, to Iblis. Every world religion has a figure that tempts and manipulates and deceives. According to Kate's log, in the last 20 weeks of this kid show, there have been over 40 mentions of these entities. It's alarming. I want to bring Peter into this, if you two are comfortable. This is really his area of expertise. OK, let's get him to review the episodes that you've already recorded. I will cut the meeting recording. Oh, is she here? The fudge? I can't even imagine. They provided two original tapes of the show, and they say there are more. Over the next few nights, I'm going to start combing those for more coded language. The puzzles, the anagrams, they seem to connect it to the cult. And based on what we have, I'm convinced that this is the latest iteration of the one Caroline's family's been tracking for generations. The information we already have about the group ties it back to a religion that hasn't been practiced publicly in damn near. So we're saying that this production company has been around since the Middle Ages? Is that what we're saying? Either that, or they were. So why her specifically, and why here? I wish we could get our hands on that contract. I think it would be. We don't even have any conclusive evidence that would suggest that she's still alive. But she's in there, Peter. I know she is. Whatever information Kate is getting is fragmented at best. And that's if it is actually Rebecca. It has to be. So I... no, Caroline. We don't know. We have to hit the pause button on this. We can't do anything that would give away what we're doing. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Are you in charge here? So what's the plan then, Peter? We just keep meeting and talking? What's our goal exactly? Look, I want to try to, Caroline, but we have to proceed with caution. We don't even know what state she's in. Or if we could even get to her. It's been almost 15 years. She might not even want out at this point. You don't know that. You don't either. Bottom line is, it's not safe. I mean, are we going to talk about David, or are we just going to pretend I'm he's not waiting around? If they're coming for me, they're coming for me. She's made contact with Kate. But we don't even know that it's her. It is, but she's too volatile. That's the tricky part. We don't know where she's coming from. Okay, we've been working on this for 14 years. Please. This is a terrible idea. We should be lying low, not diving in. Right, you know what? This meeting's over. We're going to take a break, and we're all just going to come back when we can... something. Where did the last tape go?
dreams. some kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. You have to have a lot of patience. I guess you could... Look, I'm doing... What can we... That's red! I love red! I think that would get... Okay, I get it. This is going to be so pretty! <laughs> what the? a little patience. <laughs> Let's get cleaned up and paint this birdhouse. Wow, that looks great. Now we just need to be patient. Kensdale's only radio station. Thanks for tuning in. It's your boy Brandon A.M. surfing the waves. Just a little reminder that in celebration of President's Day, we'll be spinning that sweet old banger, the National Anthem, all day long. Stay tuned. Sock it to him again, boys. While we wait for some birds to show up and use the house. Look! They're so pretty, and their chirps are so quiet, so peaceful. Love 
Good job. <laughs> See how she stuck. And I'm feeling a little under the weather. Dr. DJ Brandon AM here to let you know I've got the cure. And since it's President's Day, it goes too. Let's get. How would we cut wood? I guess it's a. What can. Right! That's right! I love red. Good job. <laughs> See how she's. And I... I like those too! Let's... How would we cut wood with... I guess it's a good... What can we use to cut the wood? Right! I guess you could... Look, I'm doing... What can we... That's right! that would get okay i get it the theme is patience it doesn't mean you have to keep testing mine what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse good job this is going to be special treat for you in celebration of President's Day. If you've tuned in earlier, you... See how she's done. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.